This is the Multifamily Customer Portal Tutorial Series, presented by Karen Wilbright. Minnesota Housing provides access to safe, decent, and affordable housing and builds stronger communities across the state. We believe housing is the foundation for success. This tutorial will focus on who needs a portal account. We will walk through who needs an account when applying for funding and who will need an account for selected projects. When applying for funding, only the developer, sponsor, owner, and processing agent, if applicable, should request accounts. If your project is selected, additional members of your development team can be added to your project at a later time. There are a few things to note about user permissions. If you are an approved user and staff person of an organization, you'll be able to view all of your organization's projects. For example, if you're a project manager at ABC Development and have a user account, you'll be able to see all of ABC Development's projects listed in the portal. If you are a processing agent, you'll only be able to view those projects that you have been assigned to by the project sponsor or developer. For example, if you're a processing agent working on one project for ABC Development, you'll only be able to see that one project. You will not be able to see all of the other ABC Development projects. The developer or project sponsor will be able to view any projects prepared by processing agents on their behalf. For projects selected in the 2017 Consolidated Request for Proposals, the pre- and post-construction due diligence, preliminary determination, carryover, and 8609 checklists will be created and managed in the multifamily customer portal. The portal will facilitate all document submissions and allow for collaboration on documents in the due diligence phases. Some developers choose to submit all forms themselves, while others choose to have their architect attorney, or supportive housing provider submit their documents themselves. Customers can decide who should submit documents on behalf of the selected project. We suggest choosing two to three individuals who will be the core team submitting documents. The checklist in the portal allows for improvements to our due diligence process. Customers have visibility to their pre-construction due diligence and post-construction due diligence checklists in real time and can see the approval status of all submitted items. Customers and Minnesota housing staff can comment back and forth on a document. If there are any changes or questions to a document that must be addressed before the document is approved. These comments can be viewed in real time, allowing clarification on changes to happen more quickly and easily. Deadlines for document submissions are set according to desired closing dates. Funding and collaborating partners who have selected the development can also log in and view the project throughout the due diligence process. There is not an export function where you can export the checklist and send on to your development team. This is a great reason to request that your team members have access to your project in the portal, especially if they are responsible for submitting documents. In order for a team member to be added to access your project, they must have a portal account. If they do not have one already, request a portal account on Minnesota Housing's website. Complete the project access request form and submit to your assigned loan processor to have an individual added to the team. The process to set up or change user accounts is covered in more depth in the Setting Up or Changing User Accounts tutorial. For more information, check out our other tutorials. Find multifamily customer portal resources on the quick links at mnhousing.gov. This concludes the tutorial on who needs a portal account. Contact mhfa.app at state.mn.us with questions.